So what I'm doing here, attempting, is to make a new card, sort of, for the opening for these blah, blah, vlogs, video logs, vlogs. So I am thinking of something like this. Now that's rough, but I thought, you see, it says G.K. Fralin because that's the name I write under. See, these are my books. The Search and Who Be Charlie B. The sequel of this one's coming out next year sometime. Anyway, um, but I write by that name, G.K. Freeland. So I thought, well, I'll use that here and kind of use it as a bonus. Of uh, So I thought, well, if I did my signature this way, G.K. Fraylin, as if it's one word, then why not? And hello. But I've been thinking whether to just do it all in black or to outline it with red and blue. You let me think what you think. Let me think what you think. <laughs> let me know what you think. Or if you think I should sign it, Glenda Fraylin, like it is on my blog, and just do a regular signature. Anyway, so for today, dun, 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 dun. so I think I figured out a way with this camera. I've used some of its attachments to support it in a higher position, and I tried to lean it back a little, but it Thank goodness it's got that 180 or whatever view fisheye thing because, um, pardon me, uh, forgot my train of thought, which is not unusual. Oh, because I forgot to bring my mouse, my, my wireless mouse. But since I don't have it up higher, at least, hopefully you're not looking so, you know, I'm not looking so far down. Anyway, I eventually get what I mean to say said, although, <laughs> uh, let's just say, it's me, people. I'm not trying to be anybody else. Okay, try to get myself logged in. If my fingers would quit shaking, there, I'm back into my computer. Okay. Now, as you've gone through my house, you have noticed, I know you have, because I know it, <laughs> that this is an older home. That's no biggie for me, or for us, in the sense that we've, We've done this would be about the fifth older home we have done at least a certain amount of remodeling to. Although I present a bit of bit of a problem for that now because of my breathing. But when we redid the kitchen, because I wanted to make sure we got that done first. So when we redid that, I just simply got under my CPAP. When when they're really smelly and, and when it was came to the sheetrock dust, my husband put a plastic cover over the doorway so that I could be out here and he could open windows and just fly everything out that way. So there's ways of getting around things and don't tell, have people tell you aren't. But anyway, back to today. Cuteness. I'm on to cuteness today. Like this guy. See? I do go to Australia. 
for Google Earth. <laughs> or I just look up Australia and different places on and I I just go there vicariously. I may not get to meet the snakes. Although I don't really have a big fear of snakes, I have a respect for them. But um and I don't really get to see Sydney's big deal or the uh their amphitheater or the Australia Zoo. But I do you know, I I try to see what I can of it, if that's what I'm interested in of the day. But I have my koalas, and they say, Australia. First cuteness of the day. Okay, I'm hoping this you consider a cuteness of the day. This is a story. It's a little kid's short story that I wrote while I was, well, I, <laughs> I was telling it, my grandson and I, when he was little, about four, he would go to sleep if he could climb up in my bed when I went to get taken out. And I could tell him a story. And he liked the ones I made up because he could help me make them up. So this one is called Jack and the Great Big Fish. And it's by Grandma Fralin to Jay. Anyway, this is how it goes. There's a little boy named Jack. He lives with his mommy and daddy in a cabin by a lake. One day his daddy, Big Daddy Jeff, was, a, was sick in bed. Jack and Daddy Jeff knew that Jack's mommy was going to be aware, at work for a whole day. Big Daddy Jeff said to son Jeff, Jack, excuse me, my son Jack, there is only one thing I know that will make me well so I can go back to work. I want you to go fish in the lake and catch some fish for fish eye soup. Now, Jack wanted his daddy to get well because he liked to play and fish was with his daddy. Jack went to the shed, picked out the biggest fishing pole he could carry, a worm, a worm, and a bucket of fish, for, bucket for the fish. Then off he went to the lake. First he put a worm on the hook and was happy when he felt a tug on the line. He reeled it in, but it was only a tiny little fish. Jack shrugged his shoulders, left the tiny little fish on the hook and cast his line back into the water, hoping to catch a bigger fish. It was very little time. He felt a stronger pull on the pole. He yanked and reeled it in a second time. The second fish was just a little bigger than the first fish. Jack sat down by the lake and thought, I know there are big fish in this lake. I got a tiny fish with the worm happens. He put the little fish on the hook and threw it back in the lake. In a very little time, he felt a big tug on his fishing line and bent the tip of his pole a little. Jack jerked his pole even harder and pulled in the biggest fish yet. It was a very nice sized fish big enough for a bowl of fish eye soup. But he knew his daddy wanted Oh, here I go again. But he knew his daddy wanted fish eye soup. Oh, fish, pardon me, got to back up, got to back up. 
It was a very nice sized fish, enough for a bowl of fish soup. But he knew his daddy wanted fish eye soup. Jack ran back to the shed where Big Daddy, Jeff, kept the sinkers and big hooks. Jack took the big hook and the heavy sinker and ran back with his, to his pole. After he changed the hook and put on the heavy sinker, he put the nice sized fish on the great big hook. Out the fishing line went, out into the middle of the lake, and the sinker took it deep into the water where the great fish lived. Whirr! The line started running from the reel, and Jack stuck his feet in the mud and gave it a biggest jank he could. Whack! The fish ro fishing rod sounded against the air as the fish pulled and pulled. Jack fought the fish, but soon the giant fish pulled Jack's feet out of the mud and into the water. Jack held on, determined this fish was for Big Daddy Jeff's fish eye soup. Soon Jack's head came up out of the water and he gulped a big breath of air. Whoosh! The big fish, huge fish, pulled him under the water again. The great big fish was not ready to give up. Jack tried and tried to think. Thinking is hard when you are pulled through, like fast through the water by a giant fish and trying to catch a breath whenever you could. However, Jack finally thought that maybe the giant fish was using him as bait to catch a bigger person. Jack swam with the fish, popping up for air every little bit. When the fish would bring him back to the side of the lake where their cabin was, Jack would yell as loud as he could, Big Daddy Jeff, help me! After three times swimming with the fish around the lake, Jack looked up and there was dad, his daddy with the biggest net Jack had ever seen. His daddy stepped into the water and the next th time the fish swam by, Big Daddy Jeff reached and out and grabbed Jack. Then Big Daddy Jeff jerked on the fishing pole and stopped that great big fish. The fish was so tired that it let Jack's daddy catch him. Jack, Big Daddy Jeff asked, why didn't you just let go of the great big fish? I ran out of bait. Because you kept using what you had to get something more than what you had. Yes, but it almost got me instead. That's right, and I'm glad you know that. Now let's go make a huge bowl of fish eye soup and cut this fish up for a whole week of good fish eating. Big Daddy Jeff, Jack said, please don't tell Mommy that the great big fish caught me. Okay, it's our secret. Unless you forget and tell her yourself. Big Daddy Jeff smiled at his son. Jack and they walked with the giant fish back to the cabin. Now you can take from there that yes, they did eat a big bowl of fish eye soup with big fish eyes. <laughs> and that is today's cuteness on the vlog. And I really hope you've enjoyed it because I have. I really... I, <laughs> kind of enjoyed telling that story and if you like it for your kids hey play it back for them I don't mind I like I like it when I actually do read a story well out loud which isn't often I'm not a good out loud reader 
confession. Okay, made that confession. But they say practice makes perfect. I don't know about perfect, but better. So, go out today. If you're not feeling good, and your doctor probably won't recommend this, but get a fish to make fish soup. <laughs> if you don't like fish eyes, no. Anyway, just don't let the bigger fish catch you. <laughs> good night, everybody. I hope you enjoy this video. Vlog. Vlog. This is GK Freyland. Goodbye.